Tell us first about Data Plus. I know I threw a lot at you there, but what are no, the parameters fine. of this certification? Who's it for? And what will earning the certification allow you to do within the field of data analytics? You bet. At CompTIA, let me take a step, a step back just for a second. At CompTIA, we've traditionally focused on things such as infrastructure, meaning things like the cloud or servers, or like you mentioned with the A+, uh, endpoints and technical support. When I say endpoints, I mean, you know, like your mobile phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The PCs we're using right now, all that sort exactly. of thing. Exactly. Yeah. We've really been into that. We've also been in the security side of things uh, mm -hmm. very strongly. There's, you mentioned Security Plus, things like that. Mm -hmm. But the two areas that we found that uh, require a lot of needle moving, right? We feel that we've helped move the needle in the infrastructure space and the security space. Time to move the needle in data and in yeah. development. So let's talk about the data because that's our third. So the, you know, we have the infrastructure, we have the security. Uh, then you have the data and search uh, uh, pathway. You can call it pillar if you want, but mm -hmm. the pathway uh, and then development. But let's talk about data plus. And so the idea is that we found uh, for years, people asking us, look, we need we need more data analysts. And we need, even if the word analyst or data or information isn't even in the title of the, the worker, we just more and more need people who can uh, turn data into actionable information. That's why we yeah. create data plus. And it really does represent a, a really a new factory door for us, as it were, or a new track, because data plus is not necessarily just for IT professionals. Right. Okay. Um, the data analytics is something that some is somebody who obviously uses technology, but is not necessarily going to be reporting to a manager of IT or mm -hmm. what have you. Now, there are obviously IT jobs that require data analytics. For example, um, pen testing, sure, but I would take a look at instead of the red team, the blue, the red team and the and the uh, pen tester, the blue teamer, the person who actually listens for the pen tester or listens for the attacks. They gather data sets all day long. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to data plus, it's really all about gathering data sets, cleaning them up, making them searchable. And then visualizing it and telling a story. Uh, you ever play Legos? Yeah. Play with Legos? Did you yeah. play with Legos as a kid? Of course. Oh, absolutely. I, you know, I didn't have Legos as a kid for whatever reason. I've no, mm. I don't remember this. Uh, so I remember now that I have grandkids, I steal their Legos and I play with them. Yes. And the reason I bring up Legos here, and this is, uh, I don't know what I have here. I stole this from my my kid <laughs> and kid back here, but. You know, I like to look at data in terms of Legos, right? Because if you have Legos kind of strewn all over the floor, right? Mm -hmm. Which is what happens with me, right? Sure. And then what you can do, you can start organizing them a bit by, well, let's put the green ones together and the, the black ones here and the yellow ones here, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can start, you know, so that's kind of like taking random bits of data or whatever. And then you start organizing it a bit. And then you can like, well, I can start making shapes. And after a while... You can, you know, visualize it and tell a story. I think this is supposed to be some sort of spaceship. Let's yeah, I would imagine like a hovercraft or something. Yeah, it looks okay, good. Okay, enough of the analogy <laughs> stuff. But, but the, the whole, oh, sorry, the whole idea behind Data Plus is to get people to understand that data life cycle and to really right. differentiate themselves and, and get those skills there. Because we see people who are uh, completely outside of uh, information technology. For example, I know a guy named Tim. Tim Niles, he works for Cisco. And you're thinking mm -hmm. immediately, well, they're an IT company, but he works in the in the HR department. And right. he did start years and years ago as A plus network plus, but very kind of slowly but surely he found himself over in the data side. And he he has not worked for the HR department. He excuse me, the IT department he works for the HR department, gathering information about the welfare of workers about mm -hmm. the interests of partners and they can start crunching data and coming together with really cool insights, teasing insights out of this random data um, about how people are working. And it makes changes to their HR policies. It makes people mm -hmm. more engaged, makes them happier, yeah. uh, changes in benefits. So instead of going on somebody's idea, you can actually focus on information. There's a, a the research department often tells the joke to itself. Well, in the absence of data, we'll go with my opinion. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. right? And that right. doesn't, frankly, doesn't get companies as far as it, as it used to. Have you seen Work Bites, the new security awareness training series from InfoSec? Our team produced this series with three E's in mind, making security awareness training entertaining, engaging, and educational. Just go to infosecinstitute.com slash free to learn more about this hilarious office comedy. And hey, let us know what you think about it.